All right, so today I'm here with Kristen Ebert and we're gonna talk through what does inventory mean? So when someone says, oh, inventory is low, inventory is balanced, inventory is high, what does that mean and why does it matter? So uh, inventory is the number of homes that are available for sale on the market today, right now. It's total number of homes for sale. And what is a seller's market? So a seller's market is when inventory is below about five to six months worth of supply. So when someone says a seller's market, how does that matter to the buyer or to the seller? Well, when it's a seller's market, which is the market that we've been in for, for quite some time now, um, you know, it's a little bit harder to buy a house, right? It can be more competitive. Uh, all the buyers are looking at the, the same limited amount of inventory and you can tend to see those competitive, you know, multiple offer, blind auction type of situations when you're going out to purchase. Currently, we're sitting in an extreme seller's market, meaning there's very little inventory on the market, right? And so uh, a buyer's market, who typically has the advantage in that scenario? Well, buyer's market, buyer with the advantage, right? There's yeah. more inventory, there's more competition. The buyers maybe have 20 or 30 homes to pick from when they're making a decision. Whereas right now, with the low level of inventory, and you're right, uh, most of the areas that we service have a supply of homes about one month or less in most price ranges. So it's moving quick. Seller's market, seller has most of the advantages and buyer's market, buyer gets to be a little bit more choosy. And everyone's locked into those low interest rate mortgages. We hit a true 70 year low during the pandemic. Most people refinanced and now they're locked into a rate around, you know, 2.75 to 3.25. And there may be more reticent to sell and trade up to the higher rate, right? So it's keeping the inventory low. And I think until we see a shift in rates or some big economic event, it's probably gonna continue this way for a while. What type of offers are getting accepted right now and how is that impacting price? So it's it's almost like there are two markets. There's almost a like a first market and then a secondary market. And the first market are the homes that are priced right and they sell instantaneously. Um, you'll see them hit the market on maybe a Thursday or Friday and by Monday morning, there'll be a pending sale and there's usually a call for highest and best offers. Um, those houses, eh, it depends. When people are pricing a little bit behind the market, you may see overbids in the range of five to 10% over. Um, if a house is priced too aggressively to begin with, um, you may see it languish on the market and sit there and become that secondary inventory. And that's where the opportunity zone is right now, for sure. Yeah, and I'm seeing a lot of where cash is coming to the table or at least being leveraged. And so we, what you have to think about when people talk about market crashes, historically that was almost all through financing, right? Like people were putting, you know, they were um, subprime mortgages. Whereas today we're seeing a lot of people come to the table uh, with cash or cash equivalent um, or cash for the appraisal gap, which is kind of driving up price because, you know, comps are reflective, they look behind. Um, they don't always reflect what the current inventory is. And so the current inventory sometimes demands an even higher price, but the only way to get to that price is people bring cash as the difference, which then continues to increase the price. Any other tidbits you think are worth mentioning for people in inventory for today's market? Yeah, with the low inventory, it's so important to have an advocate on your side that's gonna help you position yourself the best that you possibly can when you're competing against other offers. So call us at the Dealer Group. We've got lots of tips and tricks, at least a dozen ways to make your offer stand out um, as opposed to the competition. We know how to move the, the stuff from the sell side of the statement onto the buy side of the statement, ultimately netting you the most amount of money. And the vast majority of the agents don't really understand how to do that. And that's what we specialize in, which is why we get the sale price that we do. So Absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you.